What up, bikes? It's Savannah again, here with your daily report. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Now on to announcements. There will be an ACT prep class on Wednesday, October 7th here at the high school. This invitation is open to SHS students only. School has been a little different since coming back this spring. With COVID still being a big thing in our society, let's go find out what students are thinking about it with school happening now too. I think that like what the school's doing, I think it's good like revolving around the whole like COVID since we need to like be able to keep each other safe and we need to like be able to sanitize everything with that. It helps like with spread, which is a good thing and I know that it's like annoying to some people. They get to do it every day, but I think overall it's a good thing to keep us like healthy and safe for each other. I think it's really great at lunch since usually we like sit all by each other and we're able to talk with our friends. I think it's hard to interact and then it's kind of it can be awkward at times since you don't have people that are close by you and everything's so separated. But I think it's good that they're taking safety precautions with the whole situation. I think the hybrid schedule is a good and bad thing. I think it's a really good way that we could social distance in our classrooms, but I also think it's pretty much a bad thing when we aren't able to connect with our teachers like all week long. I think that a lot of the precautions that the school is doing are helpful, but I don't think people are like good at using them. I know in some classrooms we're not even able to social distance. I think that wearing a mask at all times during school is pretty much a good thing. I mean, it helps if we can't social distance in our classrooms. It looks like most students agree that the school is trying to work around the overall safety for everyone. It's different, but if that means we can go to school, then it's fine. As was said, as long as school is continuing, it is better for everyone. Make sure you are taking the right precautions to stay safe. Every time you buy a 20-ounce drink from the Viking Brew, you have the chance to enter your name and guess for the bucket of candy. The winner will be announced on October 31st. Now here are your sports. The Vikettes dance team on Tuesday, October 6th from 4 to 8 p.m. is holding a fundraising event at the pad. A portion of the proceeds will benefit the Vikettes. For the first time since 2013, Seaman has knocked off Manhattan in varsity football by the score of 35-21. to 21. Congrats, Vikes. Congratulations to Jade Thomas and Katie Golder for placing in the top 10 at the Junction City Golf Invitational last Thursday. Also, congratulations to the Lady Vikes Cross Country and Boys Cross Country team who placed an excellent second at the Seaman Invitational. Make sure to come out and support the soccer team as they take on Emporia this Thursday. That's all we have for you today, Vikes. Have a wonderful Monday. <laughs> I hate this chair. No, no!